Hello, my name is Fabia. I work in the Biognosis product support team. Today, I will show you how to perform DirectDIA in two steps using Spectronaut. DirectDIA is a Biognosis spectrum-centric workflow for DIA data. It allows you to analyze your DIA runs by simply using a protein database instead of a spectral library, thereby removing the need to acquire any additional DDA runs for library generation. Even if not visible in the graphical user interface, DirectDIA is a two-step process. In step one, DirectDIA works by extracting all possible precursor and fragment ion features from the DIA spectra based on the correlation of their elution profiles. A collection of pseudo-MS2 spectra is then generated and directly used for database search and library generation. In step two, the resulting library is then used for targeted analysis of the same DIA runs. DirectDIA benefits from high-quality MS1 spectra. We recommend setting the MS1 resolution to 120K. For more information on the overall acquisition parameters, you can always have a look at the 2017 publication in MCP by Broderer and colleagues. Additionally, DirectDIA performs best in experiment with high biological variation. The reason is that searching the individual runs of an experiment with biological variation has a similar effect as fractionation. Thanks to the continuous improvements in the workflow, as well as the implementation of a deep learning algorithm, DirectDIA is capable of outperforming even highly fractionated project-specific DDA libraries in many real-world applications, with the extra benefit of reducing project's instrument time and the required sample amounts. If you use the DirectDIA pipeline in the analysis perspective in the end, you get the results of the targeted re-extraction, but you save neither the combined search result nor the spectral library. Why is this relevant? You might be interested in revising the spectral library generated with your DIA runs, consider repeating an analysis using different settings, or you might want to enrich your search by adding new runs. Searching is a computationally expensive and time-consuming process. There are several reasons why you might not want to repeat it. In our software, the combined search results without applied FDR thresholds and library filters are saved as so-called search archives. Spectronaut offers two alternatives to save the search archives. The first option, in case you wish to proceed with a direct DIA pipeline in the analysis perspective, is to go in the report node of the global settings and tick the option Generate search archives from direct DIA. Once checked, this option will persist even upon software restart. As usual, make sure that your local search archives directory points to a local drive with sufficient storage capacity. The second option, as you might have guessed, is to first generate a library in the library perspective using your DIA runs, and then set up a traditional library-based DIA analysis. Spectronaut Search Engine Pulsar can search both DIA raw files as well as HTRMS converted runs. Once the DIA runs are selected, you can proceed as usual through the wizard, which will guide you through search and library generation. There are no special requirements for the user to define when generating a DIA library. Once generated, the spectral library will appear in the left panel. Every time you generate a library from Pulsar, the search archive will automatically be saved and shows up in the Search Archives tab. You can now proceed to the analysis perspective to set up a traditional DIA analysis and assign the generated DIA library. I hope this trick allows you to save some analysis time and helps you to conceptually understand what happens in the background of Spectronaut whenever you perform direct DIA. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. You can find more tutorials on the Biognosis YouTube channel. 
See you next time.